Hey guys, this is Betsy. Welcome back to part two of day one of raising uh, the caterpillars to butterflies. I have forgotten to do uh, one thing, and a uh, couple things. Is one, they uh, insect law actually left out the uh, the manual in the book. So. But I forgot to take out uh, not the first station, but. This is the butterfly food that you use to feed the butterflies. There's a uh, way to make nectar there. So, and because they uh, forgot, and because they forgot to do it, I uh, because they forgot to leave a care manual in uh, there, which is very dangerous because what if somebody had never done this before and didn't know what to do? But I've done this before, and I've also got up a care manual on my tablet so I'll read some of it to you I'll read the first section because this is what we're at now grow your caterpillars you can stare at the caterpillars one has made it to the roof two have made it to the lid actually so grow oh. And this is the problem of, uh, you know, not shutting your windows. Uh, step one, grow your caterpillars. Your caterpillars arrive with all the nutritious foods they need to grow into healthy butterflies. They may seem tiny and inactive at first. No, they do not. But please give them 48 hours to acclimate. So in two days to their new surroundings. So in two days... These guys will be big and crawling around like crazy <laughs> to their new surroundings. Soon, your caterpillars will be eating and growing before your very eyes. Yep, your very eyes. <laughs> Here's what to do. Handle the cut of... Handle the cut... Handle the... Handle the cup of caterpillars gently. Place the cup upright. Yep. Indoors. Yep. And away from sunlight or drafts. Yep. Uh, keep the lid on the cup, okay, I already know that. Do not touch your caterpillars. I'm guessing that's because all the oil and stuff from your hands would heal them or harm them. Uh, maintain a temperature of, oh my god, 68 to 75 degrees. I really hope that's Fahrenheit and not Celsius. Because I do it in Fahrenheit, uh, I do it in Celsius, so if they mean Celsius then, no thanks. Watch carefully, your caterpillars will shed their exoskeletons several times as they grow. So, I guess, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Toro are just chilling on the roof. Look, why, why are they just chilling on the roof? Do they want, you can't turn in, you can't fly yet. I'm going to read the next one because this is what will happen in the net in uh net around next week or so. Then that will be see them become chrysalises Chry or chrysalides, chrysalides. After after 7 to 10 days, your caterpillars will climb up to the top of the cup and attach themselves to the uh, to the underside of the lid. I've seen that before uh, on my past experiences of doing this. They attach their butts to the roof and then they hang down and start punching each other with the heads sometimes. <laughs> there, there they will hang in an L, J shape or L shape, no matter, uh, kind of depends where you look at it from. They, sh they will shed their L exoskeletons one last time and harden into chrysalides. There's a picture. Here's what to do. Wait three days for your caterpillars to fully harden into chrysalides. Do not handle the cup during this important time. Remember, an amazing transformation is taking place inside. Pre prepare your butterfly habitat. So I'm not really going to show you the caterpillars much. Wait a second. You're kind of hanging from in a J shape already. 
uh, you're not thick enough to turn into caterpillars and uh, turn to turn into chrysalises yeah not big enough you need to be bigger but you're literally hanging a J shape uh, maybe you have a deformity and just oh well <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed just part two and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!